Hey, they're all craft cider lovers and craft beer lovers. Welcome to another review. We got ourselves, guys, a very, very interesting uh, bottle on the table tonight that we are going to review. Uh, what do I mean by, you know, both craft cider lovers and craft beer lovers? Well, this is a combination of both. We are going, guys, to Gotlands Bryggeri or Gotlands Brewery out of the, uh, on the island of Gotland uh, in the Baltic Sea belonging to Sweden. We are taking a look at this fella there, Visby, Bire de Zidre, or Cider Beer. It's a big 750 milliliter bottle, and this one weighs in at 5.2%. There we go, Hope, hopefully you can see it there. Uh, so there's a description of the beer, a light and tart beer with a clear cider character, brewed with uh, fermented apple yeast, caramel malts and ale yeasts. Uh, so there we go, ingredients, water, um, apple juice, barley malt, hops and yeast, they say. So this is actually a beer uh, brewed with 50% malted uh, warts and uh, and uh, 50% uh, fermented apple juice. So this is a combination, guys, of a cider and a beer. Uh, there's the uh, cap. I mean, this is a beer on, on its own. It's a style of its own, as the brewery themselves are saying. So with that said, let's get that top off and see what we are going to get. I'm excited for this one, guys. I really am. Let's give it a spin, see what we get. There we go. Good deal of smoke on that bottle opening. There we go. I'm really excited. So a combination of a beer and a cider. That sounds absolutely lovely. And it sounds innovative. And it sounds fun. Right, it is unfiltered and pasteurized, if I forgot to say that. There we go. Look at that. So a nice, generous 750ml bottle. So a lot, of, lot to drink, of course, so you can share it. Uh, barely two fingers worth of white, bright, shining head. We got ourselves a little bit of a cloudy, honey golden color. A little bit darker, so. Certainly cloudy. You can hear the carbonation hissing and fizzing there. You can hear it. On to the nose. See what we get, guys. It is very, very farmhousey. Let me tell you that. What a farmhousey beer. You got a nice acidity in there. Faint hint of yellow apples. Horse blankety. Got that really farmhouse vibe about it. Tart. Acidic. Fermented. Ap yellow apples. And a breadiness to it. It's got to be that malt. <sighs> Certainly that breadiness comes through more and more. I'm excited, guys. I'm really excited for this one. So let's dive in and see what we are going to get. Cheers, everybody. It's very nice. It's very farmhousey. But at the same time, it's not what I expected it to be. It's got some subtle apple notes to it. Subtle uh, initially, and then it kind of disappears, giving room for that maltiness, and then it comes back again at, uh, at the back end. It's dry. Again, again, I like it. I like it. It's very different. What a different animal here. Mm. Mm. 
I would say it's very interesting. It's drinkable. It's fruity. Got a little bit of uh, malt breadiness shining through. Farmhousey. A little bit of uh, kind of damp hay lurking about. Dry. It's very, very different. Very dry at the back end. Very, very dry. For me, this is a very, very different animal. Uh, something that you could enjoy with a little bit of cheese, you know, with a uh, kind of a robust meal. This will, because this got both a little bit of that kind of apple cider character, subtle fruitiness, but it's also got a little bit of that bear character, that maltiness foremost. Uh, it's very nice. It's for me, guys, to tell you the truth, it's nothing that would make me dance up and down uh, of excitement, you know, jump up and down of excitement to dance around the room. It's not really that, but it's very, very different and very, very interesting. Uh, certainly very, very innovative and that we need in these times when, you know, all the beers are basically the same, you know, kind of a little bit of a, uh, you know how things are. Uh, with the craft beer industry, I mean, 15 years ago, it was basically exploding with innovation. Now it's basically all the same. You got the same citrusy uh, IPAs, the same, you know, orange, blah, 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 blah. This is certainly something different. Let's go for the final sip, guys. It's very interesting. Yeah, I get what they mean from the brewery, Gotlands Brüggeri, when they say that this is kind of a mix between an apple cider and a beer. It, because it is. Got both elements in there. It's very drinkable, 5.2%, so it's nothing outstanding. Uh, fruity, farmhousey, subtle apple notes, a little bit of that maltiness coming through. Very, very dry. Especially that back end. But for me, guys, this is very, very interesting. Uh, Vispi Bire de Cidre uh, from Gotlands Brigere. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5. Thank you for watching.